We now have a name to a 2010 composite, and the question becomes, did he have anything to do with the 1995 murder of Rosie Tapia, which remains unsolved? For every crime, there's a story, and the truth matters. Here's ABC4 Senior Crime and Punishment Correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. Last night, we first told you of a photo lineup of a witness who pointed to a possible person of interest in the Rosie Tapia murder. Today, a second photo lineup with a different witness who revealed another possible person of interest that Salt Lake City police may be interested in. Nearly 10 years ago, this composite was released to the public. He was wanted for questioning in the murder of Rosie Tapia. In 1995, the six-year-old was kidnapped from her home at an apartment complex in Salt Lake City's west side. The next day, her body was found in a canal that borders the apartment complex. He's always been in my memory because he was the person that bring her home from the park. Emilia Elizondo is Rosie Tapia's older sister. She was at home in 1995 when this mystery man knocked on her door. Like I said, there may be something here, there may not be something here. That's why the Tapia family's investigator compiled a series of photos in hopes of identifying the man in the composite. Elizondo was 18 years old back in 1995. He has more of the facial structure. So he, he looks similar to the guy? Mm -hmm. According to the investigator, the man she picked, who will not be identified for now, was often seen at the complex. There was a second composite created in March, but Elizondo didn't see a resemblance. Yesterday, a second witness, who in March helped create the second composite, also did a photo lineup. He lived near the canal where Rosie's body was found and claimed a young man who was wet walked past him on the night Rosie was kidnapped and murdered. He looked at the same pictures and pointed to a different man who was known to the Tapia family members. The witness identifying two people of interest, it just has me like in shock. Now there's two possible persons of interest from two different composites. In August of 2019, I took these two individuals and asked the, uh, the police to investigate them, and they assured me that they would. But no word if Salt Lake police detectives followed through on that. A spokesman for the police department says they will review this latest information before issuing any kind of statement. But the family's private investigator says DNA could provide answers. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.